driven by the standards of the rich and famous, more than a half a million dollars a month for a rental home is nothing short of extreme. From a cellar stocked with expensive fine wines to your own private nightclub, one historic Hollywood mansion is real estate at its most unreal, one of the priciest rentals in America. ABC's Nick Watt brings us a private tour of what a cool 600 G's can buy you. Well, at least temporarily. People like us are rarely allowed to hang out in places like this. Pads with private nightclubs, Hogwarts-esque libraries, pool tables that don't take quarters, gigantic swimming pools, and a terrace big enough to seat 400 for dinner. And here's why. People call you up and say, Jeff, I want to look around the house. How do you know if they're just a tourist or if they're serious? 30 years in the business, it's very easy to tell. If I don't know the name, I can't Google them. I ask for bank reference. No bank reference. Before they, they can even see it. see it. Before they can see it. Yes, exactly. And the money you would need, $600,000 a month. The most expensive rental we can find in all of America. What sort of person are you looking for that can afford six hundred grand a month? It's going to be somebody who... Um, most likely uh, is used to doing this. Maybe they will rent a yacht for the same amount of money, uh, you know, for the summer or the winter. So not someone like me. Do you have to pay utilities? Utilities included. OK, good, good. Just check. William Randolph Hearst lived his final years here with the glamorous movie star Marion Davis, and he brought the ceilings with him from his castle. In the movies, Steve Martin bought the place when the jerk hit riches. We'll keep the eggplants out. Ah, good. We don't want any vegetables. Whitney lived here in The Bodyguard. You might argue the house is a better actor than Costner. We all know this view. This is as legendary a view from a Hollywood movie as can be. The staircase you see there, that's the famous staircase for The Godfather. It was here they found the horse's head. Jeff Hyland, whose agency handles over a billion dollars in sales a year, does get to hang out behind walls designed to keep the likes of us out. Are there many places like this? Sadly, there aren't. Uh, many of them have been subdivided. Many of the houses were torn down by people who wanted modern, contemporary houses. That's what makes this house so iconic. It is one of the last remaining grand estates of Beverly Hills. The silver screen stars of today seem to prefer cliff top or beach chic. Exhibit A, Julia Roberts' $20 million edifice and Adam Sandler's place nearby. He's a tinted glass guy. And then there's Casa Downey Jr. He's rubbing shoulders with the Venice Beach hoi polloi. Gritty. Now, this glorious fragment of American history is also for sale for $115 million. Jeff Hyland thinks any buyer would likely be foreign. In $115 million, and uh, most likely it's going to be a buyer who will live here maybe six weeks, eight weeks out of the year, has multiple homes around sorry, the world. Sorry, 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 yes. sorry, sorry. Yes. Someone's going to pay $115 million bucks to live here for six weeks a year. Exactly, exactly. And, and that's the case with all our high-end estates. Like the old spelling mansion bought by the British Formula One heiress Petra Ecclestone for a reported $85 million bucks. And this will not be a second home for anybody. This will be a fourth, a fifth, a sixth home. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> if you just want to rent and 17 bedrooms and 29 bathrooms aren't quite enough, there's also a seven bedroom guest house down past the pool available for 85 grand a month. The guest house has its yes. own tennis court? Yes, yes, one of the two guest houses. You could have your mother-in-law to stay and never see her. Wouldn't that be a pleasure? <laughs> <laughs> the wine cellar would also be a pleasure, as would the tranquil pool and the constant tinkling of the fountains. I feel calm and relaxed being here. I could get used to it. I can move you, you in next week if you want. Listen. <laughs> 600 grand a month. You're kidding me. They're not kidding. People actually pay 600 grand a month to rent this place. This isn't how the other half live. This is how a minute fraction of the 1% live. And I hate to admit it, but I do envy them. I'm Nick Watt for Nightline <laughs> in Beverly Hills. Oof. Thanks to Nick Watt.